Yeah, so I'm, in, I'm staying here inside. I think I have a little cold, that's the problem. Um, plus I wanna show you a bunch of stuff. Um, how to know what's a pump and dump, how to avoid them, things like that. So give me a couple minutes as everyone gets in. Uh, how'd you guys do today, guys? I hope you guys did well. And more importantly, avoided the bullshit. Okay, let's start, guys. Oh, look at this crazy guy. So, a couple of items, guys. A couple of items I want to show you guys. First is we are having a huge event, guys. Huge event. <laughs> this is what Bitcoin's at, huh? We are having our second annual boot camp. Last year was a huge one we did. We threw a free one in Philadelphia. And man, I miss I miss seeing you guys. Seriously, guys, this, this Corona thing. It's just the isolation that's killing everybody. Um, fucks with your mental state. So hopefully we'll have more meetups in the future when this whole Corona thing. So in the meantime, we are streaming. So that's good news for people around the world. Last year, they wanted the streaming thing. But, you know, we had the in-person. So this year we have the streaming, no in-person. So can't win them all. But you know what? Um, okay. So that's it's going to sell out pretty fast, guys. I mean, we are basically giving it away. I don't know how much more cheap you want. We can never give anything free anymore because you will never value it. So space is limited because... Zoom is super expensive, man. I mean, to get to another five users, it's like $3,000 or something like that additional. So we are basically giving this thing pretty much for free. So usually on birthdays, you get gifts. On MIC's birthday, you get freebies. And so you pretty much now have it. a two-day event. The first day is for everybody who wants to come. And it's going to be free for annuals and free for a lifetime. So hit up Tosh. Hit up Tosh, guys. I'll show you, you know, if you want to screenshot this. Uh, Tosh, you can type, type your number up. Just do it right now. Um, so if you want to upgrade, we have unlisted promotions, which is going to be the pretty much the cheapest we're going to have this around this year because this is pretty much our birthday, guys. MIC's second birthday. It's only been two years. Can't believe it, right, guys? It's only been two years, and people are already copying all our our stuff so um might as well learn from the best guys i mean this is this is i don't know how much cheaper i, I just can't believe that we don't have ten thousand people wanting to learn how to trade this is not a sales pitch we are teaching you how to trade when you come to the boot camp online okay uh we want to educate you guys to avoid crap like this let me show you to avoid pump and dump. And I'll go into detail about what this pump and dump means, okay? In a little bit. So any questions, guys? I, I wanna make sure that you guys have any, what is stopping you from joining the, let me see, where is that thing here? Seriously, so I wanna know, okay, all the people that are attending right now the IG Live, let me know if you're attending. Just so say yes, attend, or no. If you can attend, I just want to see who's going. Um, so you guys are just sitting around asking these fucking questions. Seriously, guys, I, today I'm sick. I, I, my, I'm grouchy. I apologize for being grouchy. You guys just, you're asking so many fucking questions that we answer all the time. And I just don't understand what, what is the reason why you guys are not signing up? I just, I'm just curious because you know, is it because you're cheap? 200 bucks or $97, there's a, is there a reason? I'm just kind of, because I mean, all these are answered, guys. You guys are basically throwing opportunity away. $200 to learn, $97 to attend all day to learn. 
and you're wasting your time trying to Google shit from a bunch of guys that don't know what the fuck they're doing. These guys are writing shit on the blogs that are not professional traders that do not make money. You are basically wasting your life trying to trial and error because of ego. Unfortunately, yeah, you lose your job, but the thing is, how much did you lose today, man? How much did you lose? Are you willing to invest $200 in education, guys? Are you going out to eat? Did you buy a fucking Gucci belt? Things like that. You know what, man? Life is about opportunity cost, guys. This is not an expensive educational program. If you can't afford $197, you should not trade. I swear to God. If you do not have $197, Everybody should have $197 if they live in the United States. They can forego something. But you know what? They're hardship cases. I'm not saying I grew up very poor. I understand. If you ha are basically in poverty, you should not trade. Focus on feeding yourself first. Because I, I tell people this all the time, man. We turn away a lot of people, man. This is not me not – I mean $200 for me is not going to do shit for my life. Okay, guys? But I'm going to tell you the truth right now, man. People look – to trading to cure all sorts of things, okay? If you, uh, trading is not the solution, guys, to curing all sorts of diseases, all illnesses, all things you have. Trading should supplement your income. And you know what, to be honest, if you don't have money and you can't even buy food to feed yourself and you're on the streets, you know, how is trading gonna help you? First, first work on your personal life, guys, because I tell you right now, man, it, you have to get your personal affairs in order. Uh, otherwise, your trades will be in chaos. Because if you don't have a home to live, I mean, I've, I've been there, man. My family grew up, you know, came on a boat from Vietnam. We were immigrants. We, we you know, we, 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 we actually got taken in by a family and church and we stayed at their house, you know. We, so I understand poverty. And at that time, we we're not looking to trade. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? First, you get your life in order. Get a job at McDonald's, Starbucks. Alex started his his career at Starbucks. He's he was making minimum wage at Starbucks, and then he started to learn edu uh, trading. So, how much money do you need to learn to start? Nothing. Education first. It's like I want to become an engineer. How much does it cost to become an engineer? Uh, you go to school. You learn. It takes time to become a doctor. If you want to start making doctor wages, you don't you, you don't get to just get rich quick. Fucking idiot pump rooms and, and these guys are bragging about making $100,000. Bullshit. They've been doing this for a long time. No one's going to fucking tell you this shit. They just want your fucking money. They want you to chase their shit and expecting you to make doctor wages in one hour of trading. You can't, you, you know, that's not sustainable, guys. We want you to succeed. Okay? So make sure this is not going to happen again. Next year is not going to be $97. I tell you that. This is only $97 because it's COVID, guys. And you know what, man? We're streaming this and we want everybody to learn, guys. Okay? And so Talk to Toss, we have a, we came out with an accelerated program too. So, I mean, we, we are basically having 60% off of that course if you want it. Okay? So whatever it is, I, I, I'm commit right now. 60% off. So text Tosh, text Tosh 60% off and ask him what the promotions are, guys. Okay? So we, we, we have... We don't have this as a sell, but I'm just going to tell you right now, man. I, I think I'm pissed off enough for it. I'm just going to help you guys because I see these guys selling old, outdated DVD bullshit. And we are actually teaching guys how to trade, guys. We are teaching you how to trade for real. Um, we are priced actually very cheap for what we offer. So text Tosh is all I can say. I, I don't want to get into much of that detail. T today's rant is supposed to be – let me see. Hold on a second, guys. <sighs> Today's rant is supposed to be on, man, I just, I wanted to educate you. Okay, so I did one thing today. I posted a lot of charts, okay? Ongoing, I won't post many more charts. I reserve that for the education of the guys at MIC. Go to my Twitter. See the charts I posted. Go to Instagram. I posted it last night, some charts too. So every day, you see those charts. They're not fake, guys. Those are the process that we teach you. The members are learning on, on how to trade our system. I hate using the word system. It's the process. Notice we were the first to talk about process all these years, right? People making fun of us. We were the first to talk about lines. People making fun of us. And now we're talking about risk management. People making fun of us. These guys are like fucking gangbanging stocks, going all in, revenge trading, and then making $100,000 and then bragging about it. Oh, I'm, up a, I'm down a fucking million dollars. I made it all back. I'm the best. I mean, you shouldn't fucking do that.
I guarantee you by the end of the year, Alex will make more than them. Alex, I think it was uh, what, 18 grand a day on, on 30 minutes of trading, trading the process. You won't see $100,000 from him every day. You may see it once in a while when the opportunity is there. But these guys are trying to force trades where it doesn't exist because they do not have a process. Worse than not having a process, they do not know risk management. Okay? You motherfuckers who are teaching people to trade are using your members to fucking make money so that you can promote your own fucking service. Your members are blowing the fuck up because you are not teaching them risk management. Fucking risk management is not being down half a million dollars. Risk management is not buying stocks long, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars under VWAP, and then using your sheep to drive people up. Risk management is knowing when to fucking enter a trade when it's the optimal time. Risk management is knowing that you do not have 10,000 sheep being an army to move this up. Because what's going to happen is this, when that motherfucker leaves, the stock tanks and you are stuck holding the bag. Man, I, I, hold on a second, guys. I'm fucking, now I'm making money off of all the fucking shit that all these chat room guys have left the building. <laughs> so let me start with what I, what I came to show you. SSNT. Okay, get ready for this, guys. <laughs> fucking woke up this morning. This is the time frame, okay? This is the intraday chart. Sucker peaked out at way high, right? And then guess where the motherfucking pumpers come? The moment he logs in, he starts to buy shit. And this thing was way under VWAP. VWAP was like 14 bucks or something, right? And it's like almost two points under VWAP. But he doesn't care. When he has 10,000 sheep, Hot keying all the fuck. He is so secure that he uses the hot key and he got filled a dollar over the fucking market price because he doesn't give a fuck. So he starts pumping it up to get rid of it. And notice when he leaves, you're dead. And he's still pumping this shit. VWAP right now is 981. Why are you fucking telling your sheep to buy $8? This is the sort of fucking shit that pisses me off. It's now at $6, dude. Pumping this shit at fucking 14, 15 bucks. Okay? Single handedly drove the fucking thing up. I wish I had a short locate. Alex had found one. I wish I had one. It was a dollar. It was just way too much money. I didn't want to fucking hold that shit. Adult. If I had this shit, dude, in hindsight, I might have. I should have. I knew this shit's going down because what, what happens is this, when a move is such an artificial move, guys, when it's fucking artificial, then there's no shorts. What's going to happen? This is all pump and dump. This is as illegal as, I mean, fuck. I could, so it may have, it's weird, man. The laws are weird. If you put a disclaimer out, you can fucking do all sorts of illegal shit that wouldn't be illegal if you disclaim it. So if I tell you I'm going to rape you, I'm going to murder you, I am going to steal your money. Is that legal? That's an honest question. So, so okay, I'm gonna invite you to my house. But before you get in the house, I'm gonna tell you, you know what, man? I am gonna rob you of everything in your bank account. Make sure you know that if you walk into my fucking house, I will fucking pickpocket you, steal your ATM card, log into your account. Maybe even, maybe, maybe even fucking sodomize you. Who the fuck knows, right? So if I put a disclaimer out like that, does that make it legal? It's kind of fucking weird. But anyway, I don't give a fuck about that. I, he, I can care less what they make. The problem I get is this, man. I, I get what happens is these guys lose their money. And they end up calling me and they come up to MIC and, the, and they're, they're just crying. I mean, fuck. I'm not here to protect anybody, okay? I'm here to protect my members. And trust me, man, I would love to make money like this. But, you know what? Once in a while, I just feel so fucking bad that I have to say something, guys. Seriously, man. I mean, I mean... <laughs> When you're in a position, guys, when you're in a position to help someone, right is right and wrong is wrong. I posted that meme on my Instagram the other day. Right is right and wrong is wrong, man. When you see a motherfucker get, when you see some, a motherfucker hurt someone else on the street, man, what do you do? You pull your camera, you record that shit, and then you post it on Facebook? No, we fucking speak up. Speak the fuck up. 
And, it, it, you know, it's like, otherwise, like, this is the thing, man. This is how I am. Maybe this is why I don't have as many of these online friends with popular people. Because these popular people are just worried about themselves, trying to fucking look good and make money for themselves. When, when everybody else is getting fucking hurt, right? And so I'm the sort of guy that speaks up. So I'm hated. I'm hated by the most of the community because I'm fucking up their game. I'm fucking up their easy money. I'm fucking all this shit. So, but you know what, man? I don't give a fuck. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And so I wanted to educate you this, okay? So I'm going to show you exactly what's going on, okay? And I'm going to tell you how to avoid it or how to, better yet, I'm going to give you a fucking free education system now on how to profit from shit like this. When you wake up and you, so what you know is this, dude. You know that, that he is going to, whoever is going to, where am I? I'm so sorry. Um, there we go. SSNT is the stock. You know that this shit is all artificial. It's way under VWAP. And if it wasn't for the chat room pumper, you know it will keep going down. So this is this is basically them manipulating it. But there's a famous quote I keep posting all the time. The markets will remain irrational longer than you can stay liquid. Okay? Basically, it says this. This thing will be as irrational longer than you can go before you can go bankrupt. You will go bankrupt but end up right. So example, if you load the boat here and you're short against him because you know that it's fake, he will blow you out of the water. It could go up to 18 bucks. Who the fuck knows? But eventually go down. So we teach you a process of when the correct way to trade is, right? Based upon proven strategies. I don't give a fuck who's strategy. The only thing we know you know this is like, Okay, where's the view up? Where's the lines? Where's all this stuff? So we teach you the process. The moment that you know, there we go. You draw a line here. So there's a little resistance here. So you knew where it was already. There's another resistance, 14 bucks. So the point is this, man. Even though you're right, you can still go broke. The key is timing. And that's the process that we teach you. You have so much meat on the back end. You do not need to top tick any of this shit. If you are an expert like Alex or I, you can try because you have very good risk management. You can stop out, right? But a lot of you guys will not. You will freeze and freeze. So this is why MIC guys are so successful. We scream every day, avoid the front side. Avoid this shit. Avoid this shit. Wait for that shit to go down because there's so much meat. And then you can nail. It's now at six bucks. This stock didn't have many low case. The low case were a dollar. But then I'll show you another example. A-T-H-E. He stopped in. The, the V wall was all the way at four bucks. It was at 50 cents under the water. And he moved it up to himself for five bucks. So once again, what happens is this. It's an artificial move. The moment his sheep leaves, it leaves. But the problem is don't be fucking stupid and start shorting it and shorting and adding size, fighting this guy. You cannot fight an army of 10,000 sheep trying to buy. It's like trying to fight China, okay? And a billion man army. You, you just can't fight it like that. You have to fight in a different way. So you have to wait till they leave to short it. The problem we ran up the hit because you have a lot and you have another chat room guy who thinks he's throwing around a um, big size too, but your size ain't fucking dick shit compared to his army of 10,000 guys, right? 10,000 sheep will kill your little fucking vagina, right? So the, the, so what happens, he, he caught a bunch of shorts. The streamer guy caught a bunch of shorts and that's his whole intention. His whole intention is to trap the fucking idiotic shorts. Same thing up here. This is not just all sheep. The sheep drove it up, which basically broke the VWAP. So it's a VWAP reclaim. And so what happens is it, it triggers a lot of stops. The weak handed shorts will get stopped down. That's why I ran up to here. This is called max pain. When you see a big pair ball like that, it's like it's a panic cover from shorts. It's a combination of dumb sheep chasing, but more likely it's a bunch of dumbass shorts that started way too soon thinking they're cocky. You have to wait. So this is the process we teach you to wait. That's why Alex nailed 18 grand on this stock today, guys. 18 grand, okay? Same thing with this. So you have a bunch of dumbass shorts with scythe, covering, chasing, doing a parabolic move. And then what happens? They're a room. So you have a room of Dumbass versus another room of dumbasses. They're fighting each other. One's a short and one's a long. And guess what? 
You can't beat an army of a guy that streams across three different things. So he ran it up to here. They cover. The guru of one chat room covers this. The short guy covers here. And then what happens? All his sheep dies. Anybody that followed his ass got fucking burned. Because they covered it at the fucking top. The moment that he covered, it tanks, of course. Because this move is all fucking from shorts. The first initial move here is the long. Because it was dead. What happens is, to, I'll give you a secret, guys. To sustain a big squeeze on any stock, you need to have shorts. Shorts are the natural bid support system. If you are a long bias trader, and everybody is a long bias trader, what happens? Buy, 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 buy. And what happens? There's no more buyers left. Who's gonna bid? Everybody is looking to sell now. Every buyer who has entered that stock long is now looking finger on the sell button, finger on the sell button, whatever the fuck that term is, right? So basically, they're all now trying to sell. And so what happens when all the sheep sell? Craters the stock. Tanks is called a waterfall. Who is left to buy it? Not longs, only shorts. So that's why you need shorts to sustain a move. Okay? And you dumbasses with your size shorts doing early is the reason why you're getting fucking squeezed. You yourself are helping them squeeze your ass. Because you are the bits. Every time it drops, you are trying to cover. You are your worst enemy. Okay? And that's why a stock like this, SSNE, dies. Because this is dollar a share to locate. There's no fucking stuck shorts. If you are a smart short, you positionally enter and hold it and go down. Same thing with this. Eventually came back. See, both of these are identical. Take, take a look at this shit. The moment that he pumped it up, SSNE, and he got out, it went back. And it and notice the line. You draw the line here, there was a little support. It support and went up for like five minutes and then it cratered again. Because what happens is this. The shorts cover, the longs are still fucking hoping it goes up. And so what happens when the support breaks, all the longs sell too. And that's what happens. And now what happens is he starts to pump again at eight bucks. This thing's like $4 on this VWAP. The motherfucker's a criminal. So he tries to pump it up, trying to fucking scalp, going large size. Every time he's fucking trying to pump, he's selling it to his sheep. And then what happens? He sells, he sells. And now all the fucking sheep starts to sell. That's why it goes. There's no shorts here. There's no natural bid support. Same thing with A-T-H-E, guys. Okay? You've just been fucking educated now, okay? You think, now you understand the anatomy of a short squeeze. If you take a look at Kodak the other day, if you take a look at any stock that has multiple day runners, running, squeezing, it has to have shorts. Shorts are the natural bid support for a stock. And that's why the real traps give you easy to borrow shares or shares are so cheap and inexpensive, everybody is up. Okay, so those are the ones you gotta be careful about. Even though it starts up high, it walks all the way down, it traps a ton of fucking shorts because the short shares are so cheap. That creates a pool of short sellers that get trapped. And what happens? All you need to do is pump it up because it becomes an overcrowded short. That's why they call it an overcrowded short or an overcrowded long. Okay, so you have to be, if you are a long bias trader, it's a very simple game for them, okay? They used you to buy, 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 but they are not holding all the time. You are holding for some reason. You need to sell with them. You need to put hard stops out. You need to know where the VWAP is. Do not buy shit under the fucking VWAP, guys. If there's no shorts out there. So I always check to see if there's an allocation of shorts because that's the only way to sustain the move. When a short locate is it's under... It's five bucks now. SSNT is coming at five bucks. When there's when the locates are a dollar, or I cannot find any short locates, I know that this shit is a fucking beautiful short. If I can fucking find, that's why they're pricing at a dollar now. Because these these short locate guys are so they're almost as criminals <laughs> as the pumpers. They know they could get away with charging a dollar, and people are paying fucking a dollar a share. And I've seen five thousand, fifteen thousand shares that people are locating. That's a shitload of fucking money for them. 
So these are the things you're learning at MIC, guys. You're learning real trading. You know why? I want you to become a self-sufficient trader. And I'll tell you right now, man, people are fucking learning idiotic fucking bad habits. And what happens? They cannot trade on their own. They're dependent. They're sucking on the titty of this fuck, these fucking frugal fucks. I love these frugal fucks. I make hell of money off them. We make money because they, they bring in volume. Okay? But once in a while, I just get disgusted because like, man, I don't, I don't want to get into specifics. I, I rented so much in my room today. It's, it's like, okay, man, you know you're fucking people. Just, just, just fucking be nice and just fuck them. Don't, don't try to be a charade. And like, so like, fuck it, man. Like, oh, this is the first time I'm up, up $100,000 in a long time, man. Oh my God. I'm not up. It's so poor, baby. Then they start to cry about losing $300 in some real trade like Amazon or Facebook or Netflix. You know what I'm saying? You, you're pumping a fucking piece of shit stock to a bunch of sheep, making $100,000, and you're crying about a $300 loss on Amazon. No shit you lost on Amazon because you fucking, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Your only job is to pump and dump. And no shit, you would never make money trading the real way. You would never make money trading the real way if you're learning how to just pump it up. Okay? If you want to fucking learn, if you want to break out of the cycle, guys, stop being fucking lazy. Okay? If you want to make doctor wages, but you're not even willing to put in a week of fucking educational and to learn. You're not even willing to put $200 to learn, but you're willing to fucking go and gamble and do all this shit. So we created MIC on purpose. I, this, is not a, this is not an advertisement for MIC, guys. MIC was created to be the anti. We are the fucking anti-devil. Okay? We are, dude, the whole trading community is fucking garbage. I'm telling you right now, man. Look at Kodak. Look at my Twitter. I rant about Kodak. The fucking guy got a million, 1.7 million shares. Options, the, the chairman, whoever the fuck he was at Kodak, before that fucking shit exploded, a day before he got... Fucking the four hundred million dollars of options. I mean, fucking crazy, right? This is the sort of industry that you're in, guys. And everyone's doing it, except us, because you know why? I don't want to go to prison. All these guys will eventually go to prison, either prison in hell or prison on earth. Your choice. And so we are here to help you guys. This is nothing about MIC. My point is just to educate yourself and stop being a fucking idiot. Okay, and don't give me no excuses I can't afford. If you can't afford it, seriously, go and get a job. Why the fuck are you going around trying to try to pump and dump the last two hundred dollars in your account? This doesn't fucking work, guys. You need some money to trade. Seriously, one of our one of our moderators had seven hundred dollars in his trading account. His name is Tom Diesel. We 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 have a video on that. Okay, he lost all his money. He has seven hundred dollars left. You know what he did? He drove an Uber at night for two months. He learned MIC system, traded very small, and he went from seven hundred dollars to six figures, dude. He's like a six figure trader from seven hundred dollars. Yeah, he he got a, he bought a house, and I don't want to get into all that. I don't want, but it's all on there, man. You see these questions, these stories all the time, and you know why? Because he educated himself. He's trading against these motherfuckers. Because what's gonna happen is, man, you make money, guys. Seriously, I'm gonna tell you right now, you make money, and it's luck. Dumb luck. Eventually, dumb luck runs out. Just like, just like gambling. When you go to the casino, you will have luck. Because gambling is luck. A game of chance. Casinos will never let you do a game of skill against them. You will kill them. Michael Jordan would come and slam dunk their shit if they had a game of skill such as free throws or three pointers or things like that, right, guys? So they, so the, they are very pissed when you start counting cards. The moment you start counting cards when you're playing blackjack. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? You're fucking up the game. Why? Because I'm trying to even out the playing field. So I'm not allowed to think and use my skill to make money. I'm only allowed to use dumb luck. You see how that works? And that's why these guys are telling you to use hotkeys. They're getting on the microphone, guys. They love this microphone fucking shit because now they can scream out. And you remember, the moment that they scream out, they're in a position and, and then pumping. They're already in, guys. You're a dumbass. You're the one that spikes up their shit. The moment that they tell you to buy the shit, you gave them cushion. They already have their finger on the sell button. If it goes under their fucking price, they will sell. Why do you think they are sizing up? Think about this shit. All these motherfuckers out there were tiny traders up until this year. Tiny traders making very little money. All of a sudden, they make a hundred grand a day. Ever since they got on the microphone, 
no shit. You have a room full of hundreds and thousands of sheep ready to chase everything this, this God guru guy is telling you to buy. He's in fucking 50,000, 100,000 shares. If it goes up 10 cents, he's already at five grand, 10 grand. If it happens to go 50 cents, he's fucking done for the day. Why do you think he's able to load 50,000? Because your dumb ass is chasing him. You think if he gets on the, off the microphone that he can fucking get in that size? I guarantee you, he would never ever get on that microphone. And that's why they're fucking trading for $200 on Amazon. Okay? Because they don't have a fucking sheep. You dumbasses are the reason why they're up. Okay? And, and so what you do is this. I mean, it's cool. Use their information against them. So you know they're going to pump it up. And so what happens is when they issue the sell, it's going to crater. So you knowing where the lines are, you knowing the process. And that's why we, we're so knocking wood, consistent, making money. Because, you know, we know where the real lines are, the resistance, all that. They don't give a fuck about that. Their, the whole job is to pump. The moment the buying stops, they sell. And be careful with some of these rooms. Their moderators are in on it. I'm not accusing anybody specifically. I'm just telling you a scenario that could possibly happen. Okay? Here's my fucking disclaimer. I'm not talking about any motherfucker. If you think I'm talking about you, that means you're guilty. I am not talking about anyone. This is the whole chat pump and dub I've been, that I have know for the past two decades. I used to run all these chat rooms. And there's a reason why I never went to jail. You know, there's a reason why they hate me. There's a reason why I don't pump in my room. You, you, MIC has 1,500 members, guys. You never see us pump, right, guys? The guys that are watching right now, do you guys see us pump? Never. You Don't you think that I could make that money by pumping? And I'm probably a better trader than all those motherfuckers. And I'm not here to fucking try to make money off sheep. I want to teach you guys. I can easily alert. I can easily, I mean, even me and Alex are tabs, right? But we don't tell each other where we buy and sell. I hate that coordination shit. So to be serious. I mean, if you ask Alex and Tosh, I don't want to share Tosh what I buy. I don't share Alex. Alex don't. We know. What happens is this. We, we basically treat ourselves like members of the fucking community. Uh, Alex makes a watch list. He shares that. I, we, we all see the watch list. We all know what stocks are in play. But we don't know exactly what I'm buying, what I'm selling, exactly what the point is. And that's why trading is very difficult because you can know the best entry prices, but can you have the discipline? Can you have the fucking discipline to wait? These guys in other chat rooms are buying low flow shit and starting the pumps themselves. They're fucking messaging their private, their private rooms, which includes the moderators. All right? And so what happens is if you're a fucking moderator, you know, you're in a position of power. And so people will chase you. So what they do is, oh, I found this fucking play. This could be the next sympathy play, guys. So that they don't pump the real shit. They pump the sympathy. That's how these sympathies run, okay? You have the head of the snake, okay? They don't touch the head of the snake. What they do is they find a low float as sympathy. And they alert all their fucking friends, which are the moderators, and then they start to pump that shit. And they're, they're using their own room as the fucking volume to sell into. So then they what they do is this. They sell their position so now they're free Riding the position so that they can't say, oh, I'm dumping my position. Oh, that's why you see a lot of these motherfuckers. Oh, I've been holding this shit for fucking two weeks. Yeah, because you fucking pumped it, sold it, and now riding a free position. How the fuck is anybody hold two weeks of shit? Think about that. You're able to hold that shit because you don't give a fuck. It's free. You've made the money to cushion you to hold that fucking position. How do I know this shit? I've been in this game. I'm the guy that fucking probably, fucking, I'd probably help them back then to think about these things. But I never did this shit. But my point is, I, I, I know about this because I trade against it. And, and this is why we don't pump. This is why I don't want anybody in my seat to start pumping their positions. You can tell people what you're looking at and the lines and all that. But not to just like start, start pumping shit, man. That's not fucking cool, dude. I don't give a fuck if it's not illegal. I don't give a fuck if it's legal. It's just not right. You, you don't fucking like, you don't do that shit. I just can't sleep at night. And you know what, man? At the end of the day, I may not make fucking 100 grand a day, but I get to sleep at night. I don't go to jail. I can walk around in public, talk the shit I talk, and no one's going to attack me because I don't hurt anybody. And that's why they pay these trolls, guys. These trolls, you take a look, dude. I'm the guy with a clean criminal record. 
I'm the guy, only guy that helps people. I'm the only motherfucker that helps people. I'm the only guy that gets on IG Live every day, walks around like Alex. We, we have meetups face to face. I'm not afraid of anybody because I have nothing to be afraid of. These guys are hiding behind a, a fucking screen trying to pump you. You will never see them in a meetup because they're afraid that some motherfucker that they ripped off will kill them. Okay? And this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. You know what? The ones that are listening to me now, you know what, man? You can, I've been pretty much all the services guys just to see what the fuck they're doing. But it doesn't mean I'm learning from them. I'm using them. And so that's why you need to know. I'm, 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 I'm doing this IG Live to educate you guys on the absurdity of this. And I'd probably fuck up everybody. They're gonna come at me. They're gonna do all this shit. They're gonna get hate. You're gonna see trolling. They may, I don't have fake troll accounts. They do. If you take a look at some of the big trolls, why are they trolling me? I'm the only legitimate motherfucker in the industry. These other mo- motherfuckers are not clean. I'm the only guy that wants to see people face to face. Who does a meetup? No one's gonna do meetup. Only I do meetup. Only me and Alex. <laughs> you think I'm fucking scared? I, I, why would I be scared? <laughs> you never see him talking like this. They all defriended me, by the way. They unfriended me all the way. So I'm a, I'm a fuck. <laughs> like, oh, wow, wow, wow. I was fucking telling the truth. Oh, fuck. They're gonna get us all in trouble. I'm like, I, but I ain't no rap. Don't worry about that, motherfucker. I know rap. But if, if Congress calls me, I might be on TV testifying. <laughs> I won't, but I'm just saying. It's for funny, you know what I'm saying? But I have nothing to fucking fear, dude. You know, they've been coming after me for two decades, guys, and I'm still good. My whole goal is this, guys. I made enough money where, you know, man, what the fuck? I'm not here to make another Ferrari or level. I don't need no more of that shit. These motherfuckers are so insecure that they need that shit. My goal is to help people because, you know what, man? I'm going to die one day. And people will look at me and say, hey, man, you know, what did he do in his life? Did he just fucking make money? Or did he help someone, right? And I want to help people. So that's it. And so that's what we do. So that's what we're giving this shit for $97, man. <sighs> Sorry, guys. This is a big rant. But uh, <laughs> any questions? So I'm, I'm going I'm to stop there and take a question. You can ask me anything you fucking want now, guys. Because you know what, man? <laughs> Maybe he's like the Clinton, right? I might get assassinated, dude. Seriously, and that's this is why we actually this is why I started MIC with Alex. I told Alex, man, I go, you know what, man, I have so much knowledge that I want to give it away before someone fucking kills me because I, I have a I, I I have this weird thing where someone's gonna kill me and they're gonna make it look like I I killed myself or some stupid shit, guys. I'm telling you right now, the whole Clinton's conspiracy shit, okay? But in the trading world, I just know too much shit. Take a look at my podcast. If you did not see the podcast that, that we did with uh, that I did lately, that's the, the podcast. Read it. I mean, watch and listen to it. I talk about offerings. I talk about how the game is rigged. I talked about all this stuff, okay? So the podcast we did for MIC, guys, uh, watch it. There's a two-parter on it. And when I beat their system on the second part, at Fannie Mae, they shut me out. They, they, they kicked me out. They banned me from the routes. They didn't want my business anymore. The moment I fucking discovered that shit and started started fucking brutalizing them against their own fucking game, you know, is, is the way it is. So... You know, all this shit is legal, man. Look at Kodak. Oh, my God. That's insider fucking trading. But when we do it, they arrest us. If you go to the bank and you steal $20 from the fucking Wells Fargo Bank, you go to prison for fucking 20 years. If you go and steal $20 from Wells Fargo, but Wells Fargo stole a billion dollars from you. They opened fake accounts on your name and all that. No one went to jail. They got a small fine. And I promise to not do it again. Training. I promise to do training. What the fuck the training is going to do? Please do not open accounts under... Dude, please do not do identity fraud. Please do not open other people's accounts under their name without them knowing. Please do not take money from my account without me knowing. Please, please, please just don't rob me. The fuck? What training you need to do? They're legally scamming motherfuckers. And no one gives a fuck. That's the world we live in, guys. And that's why people are doing that. Okay, but you know what, man? You can do two things. You can join the evil force or you can know this, educate yourself, make fucking money against them because it's a crowded world out there where most people are criminals nowadays. So only a few people are good nowadays and we can still make money. I'm telling you right now, we, we are fucking, we, we are proof right there, dude. I'm sitting here and I'm fucking telling you how the game is fucking played. Any questions, guys? 
Any fucking questions? You know, you steal twenty dollars, we go to jail. They steal two billion, they get a bonus. Kodak, for example, man. But anyways, any any fucking questions, guys? That was the rant I promised. I've been holding it in for a long time. Um, and who wants to get on, guys? Who wants to get on? Um, anybody want to get on? Anybody ask me all these questions about my past? There's a couple of places to look. Momo Traders, the book, and Chat with Traders. All these questions are in Chat with Traders. So go to Chat with Traders, episode 100. Okay, I'm going to bring one person on if you want. Anything else? Or well, we'll end it like this, guys. And that's it. I'll give it a couple of uh, seconds if you guys want to get on. Anybody want to get on? Anything else, Alex, that we're missing? Dude, training will exist indefinitely because it's too much fucking money, dude. Don't worry about them not killing the small cap bullshit. How the fuck do you think these motherfuckers get rich? Don't worry. The markets will always change and evolve. It's not going to die. It's just going to mutate to another form. Once a crook, always a crook. They just find different ways to be a crook. Cool, guys. I will see you guys around then. We're going to make it quick and easy today. I'll leave you on your way, guys. All right. Good luck. I'll see you guys online and... Text Tosh, if you have any questions, I will see you at the the boot camp. <laughs> Someone else is making the boot camp at that time too. Fucking bunch of copycat motherfuckers. But anyways, I'll see you guys.